Hello, I'm Raspberry. And I'm Ripple. And today we're going to be bringing you our E3 2019 highlights. Yeah, so uh, we're going to bring you the games that we feel that's that's good to us and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. So, Let's roll the intro. <laughs> So we're going to start with um, Limited Run Games at a really good conference um, and this is a game I've been really waiting for them to bring out physically. Um, Into the Woods, uh, Night in the Woods, sorry, Into the Woods is the one Microsoft announced. Yeah. Um, I've actually had this on PC for some time and it came out on Steam, come out on Switch, Switch earlier yeah. this year. But you, um, like, you like it on the actual physical copy as well. You know, so, I do like my physical games, and that's what Limited Run Games is all about. That, and I, so. learned, I learned, learned that this week, actually. I didn't know that it was actually the company that, that done physical copies, which I think I, I t- top me hat to them, to be fair, because it's pretty good knowing that there's physical copies that's going to be out there. And um, for those that do like their physical copies, they did a really good conference, and um, we thought we'd bug it on here. Because uh, they, they're bringing a lot of good content out, actually, in the coming months and uh, this year. And this game's amazing. Um, I don't really know what type of game it is. It's a bit of everything from what I played it. I've not finished it. But, yeah, needless to say, I'm going to be picking it up when it comes out. I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I think next up they announced... Um, a load of Vita games, which our mate Jay would be happy about. Yeah. Good to see him keeping the Vita going. Yeah, this is obviously Deadbolt. Uh, I quite like this, this uh, game style, I must agree. Uh, but because but Sony have uh, kind of stopped um, supporting the Vita now, it's good to see Limited Run keeping, you know, bringing games out for them and stuff, so... They're bringing Guacamole out, Super Meat Boy, and uh, I think Metal Slug 3 as well they announced, which is really good. So, all physical, all able to own physically, so you'll be able to have all these on cart, you know, able to put in your Vita. So, Jay, if you're watching this, mate, plenty of waste your money on here, son. <laughs> you'll be loving it. Mutant Blobs Attack, you'll be all over it. I mean, I never played it, but it looks okay. Yeah, I've never played it. it we just thought we'd bug this reel in, you know, for any Vita fans out there. None of these games really I've played, except for um, the obvious, like Metal Slug. Um, I don't even think I've played uh, Super Meat Boy, to be honest. To be honest, I don't think I've played any of them. Did you not play? You never played Metal Slug? No, well, I might, I might have around here, but I, not that I can remember. Um, I'm, oh, I'm sure we must have played some Atari flashbacks. Yeah, I've we're been, we're just that old. Yeah, I've definitely played some Atari flashbacks. I must admit, but a lot of the games that, that I've seen on this reel that I, I haven't played, but there is some on there that I, I do like the look of. It's just we thought we'd bring the content on it because, like we say, it is nice to see Vita still getting support. In yeah, the, uh, and and it's not just like the normal E3 shows that you, you will dive into, i.e., like Ubisoft and stuff that you're Microsoft that you're coming later. Just to show that limited run obviously is involved in E3. They're out there and they're providing what a lot of people want physical copies that you can own, which are getting more rare of these games, you know. Um, and I think um, they also announced a game that I really, really like. Um, I've had it on Steam for a few years Transistor. It's um, coming out on Switch, they announced physically. Um, and I believe this game, this game looks really interesting, yeah. um, especially with Brexit going on as well. I think well, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know about that. That's a little bit controversial. Yeah. But well. Apparently, this is going to be the last. I believe, anyway, if I heard right, that this is going to be the last um, Vita game that they actually bring out. That's so quite interesting to know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's if I got what they well, were yeah. saying right. Um. So yeah, so that's quite interesting information. It looks quite good, you know, interesting enough. I don't think I'd play it, personally. No, not not unless you're into... I'm sure AC Cliff would be interested in it. Yeah, it? Oh, he loves a travel. He does love a travel. And it looks like his type of thing. <laughs> Especially with his passport. I'd yeah. love to see the stamps in his passport, the amount he's got. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, if you'd like this type of thing, and if you like your Vita, then... Um, you know, especially if you like your collection, 
Yeah, and obviously, like you said, if it is true that it's going to be the last game, then obviously it's something to put in the actual record. It's worth, worth holding on to, isn't it? Yeah, so... Yeah. But anyway, roll on. I've had enough feet. Yeah, yeah, feet, feet, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's not really into his feet, I must admit. And this one, very interesting. This is another one for AC Cliff. Power Rangers Battle for the Grid announced physically for Nintendo Switch and PS4. This game came out um, recently, actually. I think it was about two months ago. It was actually quite a surprisingly good fighter, I've heard. Um, I know AC Cliff loves this. Um, but to have this physically, it's got all the DLC and all the fighters included with it. Um, yeah. Amazing. That's, that's pretty good, obviously, with all the DLC. I well, yeah, I mean, it's not. It's, when it came out, it was digital only, so right, for limited run. And this is actually available now. Oh, so you they, actually can get it now? So yeah, when that. they announced it, they put it straight up. I mean, it's quite expensive. I think it's sixty nine ninety nine in wow. dollars. Wow. Dollars. It, yeah, okay, okay. But yeah. when you when you think that includes all the DLC... Yeah, if you're looking at games now at £35, then they want the microtransaction. So yeah. So you could say roughly the same same price as, as getting a full game with the microtransaction. Yeah, so considering it includes all the DLC characters and everything. Yeah. I must admit, I do prefer that though, if they've done it that way with every game. Yeah. Rather than just say, oh, it is a game for three or £20 but you need to microtransaction. But I must admit, I'm tempted to pick this one up myself. It does look good. I must admit, it does look good. The visuals I mean, are really good. you on can't it. go wrong, can you? It's Power Rangers. No, that's true, yeah. It's definitely Power Rangers. Morphin time. Unless the Green Ranger comes out, but then you're fine. This one is for me, baby. <laughs> Freedom Planet. S started off, anyone who knows. If anyone's looking at this thinking it's Sonic the Hedgehog, that's because it started off as a Sonic fan game. And do you know what? It evolved, and it's a great game. It's been out a long time. It was out on uh, Wii U, I believe. Um... But to have it physically, it's only ever been out digitally. Um, so to have this come out physically, yeah, I'm all over this, like a rash. It's out end of the month. Do you know what? I'm, I've already got the money down. I've mortgaged my ass. <laughs> That's it. I've sold my cat. I think Sonic fans should just let it go. Just let it go and let it die. I <laughs> just I have. That's why I'm buying this. It's true, it's true. There's still, there's still, it's good games, I must admit. No, like to be fair, I was going to let it go, but then they made Sonic Mania, so Sonic Mania was alright. It was really good. It was more than alright. But before Sonic Mania, this was the best we had to a 2D Sonic game. So, but yeah, it's amazing. So yeah, having this physically, I'm really looking forward to it, and uh, I highly recommend it to any old school uh, 2D Mega Drive a year of Sonic y gamey fans out there, if uh, you understand what I'm saying there. If that is actual language that I was using. It seems to run quite smooth, obviously, watching it at the gameplay, it, it, it looks okay. It does look okay. I'd say it's playable for me. I'm a fussy git. You saying you're going to do a review of it? Uh, yeah, I'll do a review of it. If you, if you want me to jump in and do a review of it, I, I'm open to the new content, you know me. Um, I used to just say, no, nah, I. I I ain't doing that, it's crap. But, uh, like I said, there's been games before that I've put in and thought, nah, I don't like look off, but it's been really good. So, yeah, I'm open to that. Well, I might take you up on that one. Yeah, it's going to have to point you back at that. I think we've got to get Resident Evil out of the way first, though, or uh, hey there, Jay will have us. Oh, yeah, he's been, he's been especially on the uh, YouTube channel with the comments, he, he wants us to do Resident he Evil. He loves it. He does love Resident Evil. L let's hope they kill it off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> No, this is this was good. I, I was surprised at this announcing Turok One and Turok Two, two yeah. uh, physical on Nintendo Switch. Now these, I was never a fan of Turok One, but Turok Two I actually really liked back on the N sixty four. So I'm gonna say the other way around. Really? Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, really enjoyed Turok One. Ah, but do you know what? I'm gonna pick probably anyway. Pick both of these up. Yeah, it's good. Definitely a good game. Cause it's definitely a good game. I'm a sucker for anything retro back when we was younger. I just uh, worry when they bring something retro out it's going to be slow and dull and they haven't like, adapted it to modern times which I think they should adapt it to, to run yeah, smooth. But that's like us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and that's like everyone. When you get old you run slow and... <laughs> we're, we're slow and dull. <laughs> yeah. It's very... I must admit I do agree with you. <laughs> but yeah, I did enjoy Toro, I must admit. It's a really good game. Why do you think I'm not reviewing Fortnite? I do, yeah. <laughs> 
Well, I know you don't like your Fortnite. It's because so, uh, I'm slow and dull. <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not a joke. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, two are at one and two coming out physically. Take a little look at that. So, moving on. I have no idea what this is. Uh, let me just look at my little list here, what we've got here. Um, no. Oh, I believe this is Square Enix. I think this is the Final Fantasy VII. We moved on to the Square Enix um, bet, conference. Yeah. This is the highly anticipated Final Fantasy VII remake. Call, um, call me dull, but I've never played any of them. Do you know what? Neither have I, and I don't even think it's seven. I think it's eight. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I know it's highly, uh, it's highly anticipated. I think it is Final Fantasy seven. Um, yeah, I've never been a Final Fantasy fan, so. Yeah, you are about Sorry, seven, guys. Yeah, I know that. Seven, I seven. know that it's highly anticipated. I mean, I see the gameplay. It looks good. I might actually pick it up and give it a go now. I'm older. I'm more to into be honest, that. this one caught my eye actually as well. The, the actual I can't remember the, the actual name of it. it this is. Um, I believe this is called. Um, oh my god, I've got it here. Oh, we've got so many games for yeah, it around like here, guys. With the visuals on this one, this one really caught my eye. As it's Circuit Superstars, it caught my eye. Yeah, because it ran really smooth. And I'm actually looking forward to grabbing that on the actual Switch, to be honest. It looks a bit like Micro Machines, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was really good. Uh, and this, yeah, coming from Square Enix, this surprised me. It really reminded me of um, the Medal of, of Honor. Honor. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why. It, yeah, it's very, it's very Medal of Honor-like, I must admit, even with the actual detail in, in the back. And I love the Medal of Honor when I first I'm not really into this sort of thing normally, either. No. You no, know me, yeah, it's yeah. Not, not really my cup it, of tea. It's more like Rolls of Earth, so I, I'm quite into my first-person shooters and... and it, it well, I don't mind my first person shoot, but when it's war, yeah. like, I like mine a bit more sci-fi, don't I? Yeah, you like them, yeah, like, and, and to be honest, I like them more realistic. But um, this caught my eye straight away, because I did like Medal of Honor, and, uh, you know, I, I think it's about time it came back. So, yeah, this looks really good. This is called Battalion 1944, and I believe it's out on Steam um, already, actually. So, uh, this is... Um, from Square Enix's uh, conference we're on there anyway guys so I must admit I, I, I am going to pick this up uh, it does look really good and I, I wish I didn't buy Heliborn and, and wait and re looked at this review like that yeah to, free to pick this up so I'm going to have to wait a month or two before I get it just a reminder, we're only doing our highlights of the show here, guys. We're not covering everything because there was a hell of a lot to cover. Yeah, so if, if you want to actually all dive these conferences, into them, just actually click on their shows on YouTube. I'm yeah, find them on YouTube or whatever. But these are just the certain clips that we we feel actually like took our interest, caught our eye. Yeah, I mean, even though like with Final Fantasy VII, I've never played it, but I, I like the gameplay footage, so I wanted to put it in and give it a mention, and like. I, I may go back and buy it and give it a go this time round. Yeah, it doesn't really appeal. Because I never used to be into JRPGs really, but recently, I've last couple of years, I've really got into them. So, but yeah, I quite like the look of this. Yeah. So I may pick this up and see how much it is. I'm not too sure. Um, and this game, I really like the look of. This was called Oni. Oninaki, I believe. If yeah. I, I hope I pronounce that right. I think you have. I think you pronounce it right. Um, and I don't really know um, much about it, to be honest. There was this really intriguing trailer, and the gameplay just caught my eye. Um, it seems to be like an isometric sort of, I don't know, action RPG sort of game. It looks really interesting. If, you, if you've seen the trailer, you'll see what I mean. It reminded me a bit of... Um, it's probably nothing like it, but it reminded me a bit of Bastion, to be honest. Sort of like an anime Bastion game. I don't know if anyone's played that. To be honest, it's not really my cup of tea. You, you, you know it's not my cup of tea, these sort of games. Don't know until you played it. Yeah, it's true. You <laughs> said that about I, Remy, Remy Law. That's very true. I'll tell you what, I don't like the visuals. <laughs> No, that's probably what it is. It is, yeah. That's what it. That's what puts me off a lot of the games. It do, I, I, I class them as Japanese games when it, when uh, Ripple puts these to me, and because uh, he's a big Jap Japanese fan, and uh, yeah, uh, it's not for me. It's not for me. I bet you'd like it if you played it. No, I probably would. It do, looks yeah. really good. It looks like a dungeon crawler. It looks okay. Me, yeah. it, lo it looks similar to Remy Law. I'll give you that. 
But uh, yeah, I'm, I, I think the reason why Remy Lowe caught my I'm eye. I'm definitely interested in this. Was because it was dessert. It's, it's the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's that's why that call you alright. Donut sweet. But yeah, Onanaki, I believe, if I pronounce that right. Um, yeah, I really like the look of this. I don't know when it's coming out, um, but yeah, I'll be keeping my eye on that one. Oh my god, it's the knockoff Avengers. Oh yeah, this is terrible. It's absolute terrible. This game, everyone was so looking forward to this. Do you know what, guys? Please don't. We're not knocking the gameplay. Don't, don't knock, we're not knocking the gameplay before people go, oh, it's a good game. Do you know what? I might. I well, might. Not yet. You can't knock the gameplay yet. But Come on. It, look actual, at this, dude. Look at the casting on it. Look at her. Look. look they don't look nothing like the Avengers. Oh, it's terrible. It's absolute awful. They're like pan shop knockoffs. <laughs> it's true. Look at the state of Captain America. Uh, and I think they believe it. She, in the show, they actually said they've got a, an A-star cast for this. Did was that in your ear where they got them from? Oh, I think it was a job centre, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It was, yeah. It was, yeah. It probably was the job centre. Uh, do you know what? I applied for it. Uh, well, I don't know why you didn't get it. Well. You could have been Bruce Banner, the amount of rage you get. Yeah, well, do you know what I mean? I went for four, but they said you needed an ammo, not a crutch. Uh, right. <laughs> but yeah, but the gameplay looks, I must admit, gameplay looks good. Well, you don't see much of it, though, do you? Yeah, I know, but you can imagine it's good. I want to know. Why Tony Stark looks like a hippie. Yeah, like he's got long long hair. Like I've never seen Ten O'Clock with long hair. Do you know what it reminds me of? Do you know when you was a kid, yeah? And like you used to like the toys were out, like the turtles or something. And they were all sold out, so your parents bought you the cheap ones. The knockoff ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just that they That's what it reminds me of. I must agree with you there, I've got to admit. It's and- I say it, but... Instead of going in Woolworths, you've gone into the cheap shop next door. Yeah. Yeah, I must admit. I, I, yeah, I'll give you that. That's what it's like. <laughs> That's exactly what it's like. It's like all the real ones were sold out, so they got the ones from the news agents. Yeah, or on Christmas Day where you get given a figure and you, uh, from someone that you don't know and you think they've got you the real one, but they haven't. Yeah. And That's yeah. exactly what this is like. I, I don't know if I could take this serious playing it. And I don't know why it is either. To be honest, there, Tony Stark, actually there we come on the screen with actually short hair. But in that previous clip... No, it's, in a minute. It's, yeah, it's, it's in a minute. He's it? got that long wavy hair. It's just... The gameplay could be good. It could be good. Look there, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like seeing it sitting in a campfire. Seeing it looks like Sid. <laughs> Does <laughs> yes, it's, it's just really weird. It's a weird one. It is a I weird don't know one. what's going on. But yeah, like we say, the gameplay could be good, but it just feels really off to me. Yeah. When you've got the um, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance free yeah, coming that, out, yeah, that looks good on that. Switch, and uh, the cartoon Avengers look amazing. Like they look right, just like them. And, <laughs> I mean, look at them there! They <laughs> don't like that. <laughs> just met her outside of Ronnie oh, Lee's. Th- th- this, uh, this game, oh, Watchdog Legion. Watchdog Le- Legions. Legions. This game really surprised yeah, me, actually. It really took me- so now we're moving on to Ubisoft's conference, which, do you know what? It was boring as hell. But this game. Yeah, really got. got, got well, it got. A, an interest for, for me. To be honest, I played Watch Dogs 1 and 2, I didn't really get, get into I've it. not played them, but seeing this, being set in London, the permadeath aspect, the fact that you can switch characters and be anyone. Anyone, yeah, which I think is really including, good. Including? Including the granny. The, the, you know what? It's gonna, I'm just having a team of old people. Do you know what? It's got to be done in it. It's all about this old granny. She's a legend. It, it's just to show that there is life a, a lot older than 65. <laughs> when you pick your pension yeah but she's you... still got to pay her telly license <laughs> that's very true <laughs> but yeah uh, it's brilliant this aspect that they've put into it I must admit it definitely caught my attention and it's definitely definitely took the money out of my wallet yeah well I think I'm picking this up day one as well to be honest um, and it's not really the right move for a game like this but yeah I really like the look of it uh, especially obviously the, the others were st- quite stealthy as well with drones and stuff like that but like I said I didn't really get into it yeah I, I never Ice Cream actually got more into it than I did so uh, to be honest I just let him have the game 
and, and uh, yeah, he, he really loved it. But once he see this actually on Ubisoft, that was it. He was like, I want it. I'm getting it. But this new one. Yeah, this new one. Yeah. Really. Yeah. He really, really wanted. This it. was the best thing of the show, really, wasn't it? Yeah, I must admit. This yeah, show was so with. bad. I mean, I saw, there's a bit coming up in this video. I couldn't believe what I was seeing watching this show. <laughs> Do you know it was shocking, but this game, this game was great though. Yeah, it, is it looked great. Shocking. Uh this looked really good. I just wish we got some gameplay footage. Yeah, I wish there was. Now yeah. this is how you do CGI. Yeah, it's different. Totally different to Avengers. Now Avengers, take heed. Yeah. Does he look like a cheap knockoff John Berthel? No. I hope I pronounce his name right. I probably didn't, but I'm I'm from. Just say the Punisher. Land. Just say the Punisher is easier. Yeah, all right. It's, it's That's easier. how you do the Punisher. And, you know what I mean, when my missus sees him, she knows him as the Punisher. That's it. It's just that's just the simplest way to do it. Uh, so when you see him on the screen, it was like, is that the Punisher? Yeah. So and and she likes her big nasty men. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the actual CGI looks really good. I yeah. Um, I do believe I, I, that it. It caught my interest enough to think that I want to give the game a bit more of a look. So yeah, it goes, it's Ghost Recon, is it? It's Ghost Recon. Like the the first Ghost Recon on going way back on 360, I played that. It was all right. It was good. And I think Ghost Recon Two, I think on 360, I played that as well. But I've not played any since. So so I, I, I think at that time was it Splinter Cell was out as well, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and I got mixed. I was mixed between the two sort of thing. And but um, yeah, I think I'm going to give this a go. Quite like the look of it. Like the the plot sounds good. He come out after this, didn't he, with a dog yeah. and basically said, uh, like, is the main villain basically? He's, yeah, he's the major. He's an. Oh, he's a major. Actually, he's in charge, and the main villain. And uh, yeah. It's good to see they're actually bringing lifelike characters into into games. Yeah, like Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are lifelike characters. Yeah, they're just from the job centre. That's very true. That's <laughs> very true, yeah, very true. You've got to give someone a chance. <laughs> what have we got coming up? Right, it's Ghost Recon Break. Uh, now it is! I, what is going on? I was watching this ubisoft conference and I, I went to the toilet i come out i thought i'd turn over and eurovision was on i just don't think he likes just dances because we're both ripples and uh, we just can't what dance. is going on <laughs> i think that's what it are is. you telling me this is not eurovision no it's very eurovision like but i just think they're just trying to hype up because it's the 10th year isn't it well i've got to give it credit it looks better than the avengers yeah it's it's a decade it's more colourful. I was waiting for you. Well, I won't go that far, but yeah, it's a <laughs> <the> panda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we're on the Nintendo. Go on. You know you want to rip me. Well, uh, well, Ripple loves his Nintendo, so I'm just going to leave him to it. I think, I think I'll go that. Yeah, you might as well. <laughs> well, here we go. Link's Awakening here, everyone. I've been looking forward to this. The Link Awa Link's Awakening remake. Um, and yeah, it looks great, I think. Really good. Um... I love the new art style they've taken with it. And they said they're not disappointed with it. Um, and they announced in this um, Nintendo Direct that they did during E3 that there's a new dungeon. Sort of, sort of like a dungeon creator mode. So any dungeon you go in, um, you'll be able to save the, the, the rooms and then mix and match them, whatever and make your own dungeon and go in and explore to your heart's content for items and prizes and stuff. So that that's a pretty cool aspect to it. That's That seems to be about the only new thing they've done to it. Apart from that, it seems to be just a straight up um, remake, which is really good. I love the new art style they took with it. To be honest, Zelda's not for me. Yeah, I know. I'd I rather know. God of Monsters, but I only say that just to get on people's nerves. To say. Well, you, you, you do like to try, <laughs> but I don't buy it. This is what I was uh, talking about, anyway. As you can see, yeah, look, you, you unlock the chambers and... And then uh, you can form your own dungeon, go through it and stuff. But yeah, it's good to see some of the older Zelda games get a bit more love. Like, um, I remember playing this when I was about eight, this game, so... Really? That old? Yeah, it's old. Yeah, it's oh. really old. So, I'm me, I'm me well, Game Boy. My Game Boy, like the original Game Boy. They've done pretty well then for for that that old to to revamp it up quite a bit. Yeah, 
Oh, and this was a shock announcement as well. Um, I didn't see this coming. Uh, after the last No More Heroes, um, it was a spin-off, and it didn't get that well received. Um, but we've got No More Heroes free reveal, which um, looks really good. I mean, I'm playing the last, well, not the spin-off, the actual No More Heroes 1 and 2. They were great games. I really loved them. So full of humour and great gameplay and what have you. So, yeah, I was really happy to see this come back. So, yeah, I'll definitely be picking this up when it comes. And good to see Travis Touchdown back. The bloke's a legend. So, yeah, that's all I've got to say about this one. It's well, well above my head, this one. Uh. You like the look of this, though, do not yeah, you? Yeah, I do like the look of it. It was one of them, and I thought, yeah, I'll give it a go. But, unfortunately... But I know nothing about it, so I can't really add much to it, if I'm honest. Yeah, I know. Until it comes out to, to have a go. So I'm not going to give out false claims and... No. And, yeah, so... Just, you can say it piqued your interest, though. Yeah, it did pique my interest. So just, in, oh, in my eyes, just watch, watch and enjoy. Yeah. What have we got here? Ah, uh, this. Took me back to my childhood as well. Back to when I was 15. <laughs> Panda Dragoon. <laughs> Panda Dragoon remake. Never see this coming. This was my shock of the show, actually. Um, so, yeah. Anyone about my age who was really uh, into their Sega or Sega or whatever you want to call it. I know there's a few of you out there. Um, this game, great. Apparently they're doing um, Panzer Dragoon 2 as well. And the art style they've decided to take with it, I, I love it. So, yeah, this was a real shock I've for got me. to agree with you there with the art style. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to, yeah, I think it's really good. I didn't expect to see this, so this was a shock of the show for me. Are you going to say anything? Because I'm just going on here. I'm, I'm leaving you with Nintendo, mate. I'm oh. just... I'm just Sitting back and just you must have liked some of these. Uh, pfft, yes and no. I mean, Astral Chain, no, no, this game looks amazing. No, it's your own opinion, man. It's not, I don't no. you, you know. Look at this, no, because it's, it's like sci fi. No, no, fair enough. Stop pushing me, fair enough. <laughs> I'm not pushing you, man. Fair yeah, enough, but, but like I said, it's each each one on their own. It's yeah, just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just, you know, you like a lot more Nintendo, like more stuff I'm than just, I do. Aren't people make it fill up with the sound of my voice. No, people are getting fill up with the sound of Ripple's voice. Mm. It, it, it's the educational. I'll just sit back and listen and take it all in. Now, I tell you what, I will take over here. Yeah, that's good. This yeah, is on. definitely one. To I mean, I, I'm I'm just a normal Nintendo fan. Oh, bad, but there's something there. Uh, yeah, but this is this is de oh, okay. Mario and Sonic Olympics. <laughs> I think this is brilliant when I, when I see this. I thought, yeah, definitely getting it. Can't can't fault it. It's it's a game that you think oh, you can play with your friends, and I love games like this. I do love games like this, and even more so obviously it's online as well, so you can compete online. No doubt it'll be time trials where you can beat your, your friends' times and stuff like that, which which I love. It's very similar to like trials in that, that perspective. Yeah, I must admit. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this as well, so I'll kick your ass on it. <laughs> well, I'll try. Yeah, you'll try. I'll you'll try. try. I'm, I'm like the, the Mario king at the moment. At the moment? With, with the Mario for games. For the last four years? Yeah. Or five years? With, or only that. with the Mario games, any other games, and that's it. I'm, yeah, but this I'm, is a Sonic game as well. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> No, this. Yeah, this was another one that was pretty good. I think this is obviously, this is obviously Microsoft now. We're going yeah, we're in the Microsoft conference now, but I did not expect to be them announcing a, a Minecraft, a game, Minecraft and game. Me actually liking it. Yeah, an actual game rather than just an add-on to the actual Minecraft saga sort of thing, which which I, I thought was pretty good. Yeah, and it actually looks bloody good. Actually. Yeah, they've done really well with it. I must admit, it I'm looks just... like Diablo-style dungeon crawler. And yeah, it's, it's come a long way since we first played Minecraft. I must admit, where it was, it was just building blocks, and you could design your own certain things. Wasn't it was it? good at when the you start. built your own Sonic. As I must well, admit, I, it was good at the start, but it got boring quick. But you you took some time and built your own giant I, Sonic. I did, yeah. And and that looked, I must admit, that looked really good, didn't it? It looked really good. But yeah, this this looks really interesting. And I think, well, I'm going to get it anyway. Yeah. Because. It's going on the Game Pass, yeah. which we'll talk about in a bit. Yeah. 
But yeah, the actual visuals and that are pretty good as well. So. Yeah, and I believe it's one to four players as yeah, well, four isn't it? Player and, and this is actually coming on Switch as well, I think. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, which yeah, is was. nice to know. But I think might as well play it on here. Maybe we'll do a review of it. Yeah, I think it'd be worth a review if people would like that. Now, nah, come on. Yeah, how, how can you not steal, steal the show? I've got to admit, this game is going to be the nuts. Cyberpunk 2077. In development for four years, CD Projekt Red, everyone knows them, they made the Witcher series, and then Keanu Reeves comes out on stage. You can't get anyone more high profile at the moment. Best moment of the show. At the moment, I don't, I don't think you can get anyone more high profile. And the game looks amazing. I mean, it's my most anticipated game of next year. This year, my most anticipated game is Astral Chain. I didn't get a chance to talk about it because I thought you was all fed up with my voice. But anyway. Uh, on the Gears. Yeah, Gears of War. Gears of War is Gears of War. You can't, uh, you can't not Gears of War. No. Although this trailer, I didn't think done it justice. The, I was hoping the, the, the music with the trailer, you was... Yeah, this new mode looks interesting. Yeah, the new mode looks really good. Uh, but I was hoping for gameplay. Yeah, a lot of it I was open for gameplay and they did hide quite a lot of obviously the gameplay I think and they... that was every conference yeah, really. it wasn't just except one for maybe Nintendo I've got to say well, Nintendo with the treehouse with the treehouse Nintendo with the but gameplay even their trailers really had a lot of gameplay but mind you say that a limited run a limited run yeah, yeah, yeah but most of their games are already, old yeah, and yeah. stuff anyway so. but yeah I do like a Gears of War I must admit it's, yeah it's so that'd good. be good I think if you like Gears you know what you're getting yeah so you know, I mean, I think it'd be good. This new mode looks really good. It's a free player sort of go in, drop a bomb mode and uh, escape, I think. Uh, it looks interesting enough. Um, I'll just wait to see some gameplay footage of it. But yeah, be picking it up because uh, it's on Game Pass. Oh, yeah. Because so it's, it's that Game Pass, I think, have we got footage of it or are we just going to talk about that Game Pass? Um, I think we haven't got footage. So you might as well just whack it on there. So that Game Pass... They come out in the show and announce that Game Pass is going to uh, PC and they're doing a deal where you get your Xbox Live Gold and you get your Game Pass on Xbox and you get your Game Pass on PC all for eleven ninety nine a month. That's eleven pounds ninety nine, not not US dollars. Yeah, US yeah. dollars it's gonna be a bit more. Nah, I'm not normally into that sort of thing. Like, I love my stuff physically. That's why I'm into my limited run games and stuff like that. But, do you know what? I'm paying seven quid a month Xbox Live Gold anyway. I thought, do you know what? For that extra, I might as well do it. And, do you know what? There's some good games on there. Yeah. And it's a good deal. It is a good deal. As long as you go in knowing that, that you're not, you do not own them games. And it's basically like Netflix. It's Blockbuster. Yeah. It's Blockbuster that's gone. If you go in, you can play some games and you know that they're not there forever. Yeah. You know, but it's really good deal. But yeah. Anyway, we just missed something. Yeah, there, so we, go on. obviously one of them was the actual uh, Elite Controller, new controller. Um, I'm a bit sceptical on it because the controllers don't last that long for a hundred and odd pound controller. I think it's ridiculous. But they may have a lifetime warranty of it. I don't hold me to that. If they do, then it's worth it. If they don't, then pff, I, I wouldn't I just think it's a gimmick. And was the other one, Lego Forza Horizon yeah, the other so one was, yeah, Lego Forza Horizon 2. That uh, looks pretty interesting. Yeah, uh, chucked in Lego, obviously, because you, Lego's is one of the biggest franchises you can ever go, and you can't go wrong with Lego, I feel. Yeah. Uh, now we're up to obviously State of the Yeah, I was too. quite interested in this, because it's... Um, a full big expansion to State of Decay 2, I think, which I think is a very underrated game. Come out last year, it didn't get as much praise as it should have, I think. It was really good. It could get boring quite quick. Yeah. But it's good to see them add in. This is a whole new map. It's the actual... Re, they've actually redone the map from the first game. Completely from the ground up. And this time, it's um, a proper campaign. Right, not, okay. not random. Yeah, because I must admit, I played the random with you for quite some time. And I got quite bored doing the same thing. So, yeah, so I'm going to give this a shot. I've installed it because it's on Game Pass, so I didn't have to buy it. So, so it's, a, it's another perk of Game Pass. Yeah, well, which is nice. It? So, um, yeah, I'm going to play this probably pretty soon. 
Um, while you're there, I don't know if you've actually got clips of it, but obviously with the Xbox as well, they've released obviously the details of Project Scarlet. Oh and yeah, yeah, you was quite interested in that, wasn't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I, I do like my Xbox things, so obviously keep your eyes peeled for that. There's not really much details on there other than they've revamped the processor and stuff. I and had the amp for about five minutes, but then I learned that Halo is still coming out on Xbox yeah, One. Yeah, he did have the amp because he thought it'd, it'd just be you need to get a console, and they're cashing in on people getting a new console with Halo because it's not going to run. But apparently, it's going to run on Xbox One. Uh, yeah, so, so I'm all good. So he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's happy. <laughs> uh, regardless or not, I'm still going to get a new Scarlet. I probably will one day, but the, for the amount that I use my Xbox One. Yeah, I use my Xbox a lot more than I do. I'm, I'm a hater. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, we've actually the Master Chief, you couldn't. You know, it's good. But obviously, you said about obviously when he loaded up there, Master Chief, the, the actual codes. Oh, yeah, they actually hid um, year codes to uh, Game Pass in that. Yeah. Funnily uh, enough, yeah, which was quite good. Fair, I found that out online. That was very clever, obviously. When he loaded up his actual screen visor, there was codes that went across, which obviously... But, yeah, this is Halo Infinite going on here anyway, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm a big fan of the Halo series. Yeah, I was... Ever like, since you bought Rand, we were flipping... The original, when you first got the original, original Xbox. Yeah, the original Xbox, I must admit that. And to play multiplayer on that, you had to link up. Oh, bloody it hell, was... I remember that. God, do you yeah. remember we used to do that? Cool, yeah. There's one game that I miss. You kids today don't know what... There's one game so I miss lucky. from Xbox that they won't bring back out. What's that? Greg Hastings' Tournament Paintball. Oh, that was a good game. But, uh, yeah, uh, they won't bring it back out. Nah. Backward compatible, please. Anyone's watching this who's in the business, bring back Greg Hastings' Tournament paintball. Yeah, it was a good game. It was a bloody good game. Anyway, as you can see, this is Master Chief. He's looking up at Halo. He's like, what's going on? It's all blown up. It's been done in. Do you know Chief ain't going to take this crap? <laughs> <laughs> this dude's wussing that. Chief ain't having it, mate. And I can't wait for it. This dude here, he's just, he was a failed cast in the, in the Avengers, I think. Yeah, I heard he was, he was going to play Tony Stark, but he didn't get the part. So they had to chuck him in a spaceship somewhere. As <laughs> an extra. Yeah. He was, he was in a JCP. <laughs> oh, Have yeah. a word. Oh, uh, I, what are we on now? This is flipping thingy, isn't it? This is Apex Legends. But this is EA's conference, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, EA's conference. This is about all that was worth showing from it. Yeah, it was, uh, they had Star Wars in there. Um, I'm not really a big Star Wars fan, so I didn't want to put that in. It looks really, uh, all right. It did look good. It looked but, good. Right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm more of an Apex. I like Apex from EA, I must admit. Uh, FIFA 20, as they usually do anyway. Uh, FIFA's FIFA. Um, yeah, Madden, I think, wasn't it? They did. Uh, Madden. Yeah, Ma Madden uh, NFL. Yeah, we're, but we're, we're in uh, obviously the UK, so Madden's not really. It's a it's a good game, but it, it's not really big over here, so we're not really going to cover that. Um, I probably would have done Star Wars if we hadn't already put so much in this video. And the other one was Sims Four Island. Yeah, I wanted to do that, but again, because I like I like the Sims, but again, we put so much in this video. We have so much to cover. We just can't get it all in, you know. Uh, this was a new, obviously, the 10th legend. Uh, her name's Watson. She's more a defensive character as well, with obviously bases in that. So, obviously, keep your eye out for that. This game, I really like the look of. Yeah, well, this is on Bethes Bethesda, sorry. Bethesda's. Uh, yeah, Bethesda. Bethesda's is conference now. Yeah, um, which they didn't have that much to show, to be honest. It wasn't great. Most of it was phone stuff and Fallout 76 stuff. Which love it or hate it, I don't know. I've not played it, so I must but, admit though, the presenter on this one was probably the best presenter out of a lot of them. Pro who? Not Pete Irons or Todd Howard. Was it, was it this one I'm thinking of? I'm oh, not this geezer. You want to shoot Nazis? That, yeah, yeah, was not great. that geezer. He was great. This game, though, I really I'm I'm picking it up because it looks amazing. I think. Yeah, it's well. I love Wolfenstein anyway, like the old one. I mean, I was playing it back in the flipping early 90s. Yeah, I'm in my PC, man. I remember playing a few games of it. It is enjoyable. I yeah, I've really not played game. none of the newer ones, though. So, um, But this one looks really good. And I like the fact that it's co-op as well. That's quite interesting. That's quite, obviously... Yeah. 
That yeah, is good. Quite good, yeah. Yeah. I must admit, yeah. Um, and it's coming out on Switch as well. So, I mean, I don't know what we'll do it on. Yeah, I did discuss this with you. I was worried about that, but you assured me that it'd be... Well, like I said to you, Doom's out on Switch and it runs fine. Yeah. Trust me, like, I've played through it beginning to end on this, fine. But we'll see about that anyway. And talking of Doom, to finish the video, game I've been looking forward to, yeah, Doom Eternal. Doom. It can't be Doom, yeah, I must admit. This game done. looks amazing. Like, absolutely amazing. Cannot wait for this game. It's, it's tell you what, it's come a long way, isn't it, Doom, really, if you look at it. It's come a massive long way. Well, I don't know. I've from, never really from, been that disappointed in it. From going up to doors, going. Ooh, 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 and I've just, always just, loved doing that. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But do you understand what I mean? But yeah, I mean, yeah. I it's come a mean, long mate. way through. To like, it's been good. It's been good. Yeah. But, but it's amazing long... now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this looks. This looks well good. And especially like going like, and collecting certain key cards, coloured key cards, and stuff like that. You still have to but, do that. Yeah, yeah. But obviously, uh, but I mean, like old retro style compared to this this, this looks brilliant yeah it looks yeah. so good like and can't wait for this and this is coming out on everything oh actually everything that's yeah. quite interesting pretty much everything it's even coming out on nokia 3310 wow no i, I thought was, <laughs> it, was that with the snake extra yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys yeah so uh, we'd like to obviously say thank you for obviously watching this long video we're sorry it's very long but we thought we'd get them all in and uh, thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed catch you next time take care